that stem cell therapy uh, is a highly effective way of treating these patients. Uh, to, I would say that it's probably the, the one that has best results against disease activity. Uh, there are certain difficulties regarding the impact of stem cell uh, therapy in the long-term progression of these patients. So we know that the, this treatment uh, controls almost, in, uh, almost completely the disease activity. We, we are not sure yet what's the impact of the treatment in the progression that accumulates in the long run. Um, but there's another problem, which is uh, regarding the safety of the procedure. So, so far, this procedure, even using um, these moderate or low intensity conditioning regimens, uh, the safety is not good enough for us to use this in all patients. So there's the, clearly a risk-benefit ratio that we have to, to consider. Uh, and some patients, the benefit is, of course, much higher than the risks, and there are risks, even mortality risks. Uh, but in most patients, we have safer options in drugs uh, and not on, on this treatment. The idea, my idea for solving these, these uh, difficulties is to find out better uh, conditioning regimens. So, I, uh, other strategies uh, to, to induce uh, immunoablation um, without uh, so many risks and maybe also uh, combine the stem cell transplant with uh, drugs that work on progression. So maybe we could do an induction with a stem cell transplant and then start the patient on a drug um, even of moderate efficacy but that has an impact, a proven impact in progression. We still are not, we aren't still uh, there yet but well, we'll hopefully we'll reach that.